Hello world, this is Craig. If you have one of these Garmin 205s or 205Xs, I can almost guarantee you're getting this error if you try to update your database. It says update failed, database not unlocked for this system. Well, the good news is it's not your fault. It's a firmware problem. The bad news is it's a bear to get it fixed. But I do have the answer for you in this video, how to get your databases download. So as a matter of, if we back up a little bit with this system, all of the Garmin systems are uh, subscription for the databases. So if you look at, when you put your system in, it creates a 13 digit system ID. So every Garmin system, the first time it's powered up, creates this system ID. You then take that system ID and you put that in your Garmin download manager. The download manager gets the database from Garmin, decrypts it, and then it attaches this system ID to it. So it locks it to this, this particular unit. That way, you know, they make sure they get their $35 for every one of these units that are out there. So anyway, it sounds simple enough and I've been trying. I had this playing in for its annual. I got it back on the 1st of September. This is now the 21st, so it has been three weeks that I have been dinking with this, trying to get this database to download. The installer couldn't get to download, the Garmin dealer couldn't get it to download, and then went on with technical support and they haven't been able to give me an answer to get it to download. The problem is this radio is really new. And you know I think they just announced it in July, so it's only been available for a couple of months. There just aren't that many of them out there, so I'm not sure how many people have called in and none of the, the Garmin documentation yet tells you how to solve this. So Garmin had me trying all sorts of things. Nothing was working. Finally, last Friday, at uh, it was like four o'clock, and I called Garmin one more time. I was expecting absolutely nothing. And at that point, my opinion of Garmin technical support was zero because they led me down a bunch of wild goose chases. So uh, got a hold of a guy named Ron. And Ron, same as everybody, he thought there was something wrong with the system ID. So he pulled up my account and one by one, we went through all the digits of the system ID. And I said, yep, 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 that's what I got. So Ron, we got done and he said, okay, all 13 digits of the system ID are right. Then Ron paused and I could, Ron was thinking. And Ron said, you know, that makes me remember somebody mentioned something about one of the radios. So Ron says, hold on, I'm gonna look through my notes. So I can hear Ron flipping back and forth through notes and not after too long, Ron comes back and he says, okay, here's the deal. Every Garmin instrument makes a 13 digit system ID. It's unique to every instrument, except the 205. The 205 makes a 14 digit system ID. Okay, well that's fine. I don't care how many gar digits Garmin wants to put in here. If that 14th digit gives them the additional amount of security to make sure that nobody's stealing their $35 database and it helps them sleep at night, they can put in 14 digits if they want. The problem is they're using the same firmware for all of their radios evidently and so the firmware that displays the system ID can only display 13 digits. I never thought to count the digits before but there's 13 digits but actually in real life this radio thinks there's a 14th digit. So talking with Ron the problem is we don't know if it's a letter or a number because this is alphanumeric. And the other thing is we don't know if it's on the right or the left. You know did this scroll over to the left and scroll the 14th digit off the left? Or is it cutting the 14th digit off the right? Fortunately, Ron went off and he came back a little while later and he says, okay, well, we know it's going to be a number. All right, so let's presume it's a number on the right-hand side. Ron said, I'll tell you what, I will, in your, in your account, I will create a subscription for the same ID, but ending in B90. And then you download that and you bring it down and you tell me if that works. And if it doesn't, then we'll make a B91 and so forth. And I said, okay, well, it's the right track, but the problem is that I live a half an hour from the airport. You can't just go down to the FBO here and, and download the database because you gotta be using the Garmin Download Manager that's tied to your account. So I said, make all of the subscriptions from B90 to B99 so I can do them all at once. So Ron goes off and he does that. And the problem is that, you know, I, first of all, I didn't have that many SD cards because this takes a SD card for each of the databases. You can only have one database on an SD card. And the SD cards have to be from uh, eight to, to uh, 32 gigabytes. And so that's the biggest SD card you can use. So I had to go around and find a bunch of old SD cards. I formatted each of them so that the number 
in the format and the number on the label both tell me you know what the last digit is and then one by one I went through the subscriptions and I put them using the download manager onto the SD card and then you bring them down and you pop them in and one by one you try to upload the database and see if it fails and I was getting nervous because I was down to the last two I was just picking them out of the bag and I finally got down to number seven so you popped in number seven fired up the radio and you know, finally, after three weeks of playing with this, download the database, you go to menu, system, database, update, start the update, do you want to do it, say yes, and then just like the last three weeks hadn't happened, this thing just updates the database like it was supposed to, like it was day one, and then restarts, and everything is peachy keen. So that's the only way to do this. You either get a hold of Garmin and have them make those 10 databases or those 10 yeah 10 databases that each have a new number on the end and it goes on the right end or you start buying additional databases and just putting that number in by yourself until you come across one that works okay so that's the radio how to get it going uh weather's going to be turning sour here pretty soon so you know maybe in another few weeks I'll be back in my basement working on electronics projects but until then I wanted to let you know how to update this database if you have one of these radios and you've got the same problem. Alrighty then, I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.